I need a little bit more beer, please. <laughs> We're back. Hey guys, welcome back. We are here and we're doing the third part of the Locked Book series. Yes, because Ben wanted to tie all these crazy things together. Yeah, because we had, um, I mean, in the original display, we saw the lock with the sword. And then um, if the, basically like, if the book is capable of looking through different timelines and you've got this demon that's coming through after you, then um, you had a sword that can cut open holes in time and space. Yeah. And uh, I got this idea. I want to have a shout out right now to two guys who this is, this is, this is dedicated to both of you. And that's uh, Chad and Vic. And you guys know who you are. And by the way, when this video comes out, I'm going to send this to both of you. And um, <clears throat> when I, they got me involved in playing Dungeons and Dragons. I think maybe we talked about this story before. I'll say it again. Um, uh, Chad said that his character was a paladin and he had a plus five warper blade. That's what I heard. But he didn't say, he said vorpal. But I, I didn't know that. Nothing. So I thought warper. And, and for about a good two weeks, I thought, well, what's a warper blade? Man, it must do something really crazy. You know, it's magic. It does all sorts of stuff. And then he said, no, no, Snowdy, it's not. Warper, it's vorpal. It cuts through like stone and things like that. And I went, oh. But I always wondered, what does a warper blade do? <laughs> it's got to warp time and space. So we made one. Yeah. And uh, here we go, Ben. Yeah. And as you can see, the design is close, is the sword that we have at the beginning of our videos. Yes. So we have it today. Mm -hmm. We have the design for the warper blade. And... Uh, yeah, I love the blade just being stars in the universe. And yeah, it's almost like um, there was another sword that was kind of like this in back in old D&D days when I was a kid uh, called Black Razor. Mm. And it, you got it in White Plume Mountain Adventure. And it was a sword that was just black and had like stars and stuff in it. And I thought, I'm going to steal that idea. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And so the Warper Blade, for the purposes of this story, is a blade that... Um, it gives you power to fight this time demon that's coming after mm -hmm. you. Uh, and so once you have unlocked the book, um, you are capable of... Uh, you only need to unlock one the first time you unlock it. You can kind of reach into the book and you pull the blade out from the book. And the blade is a... Um, it's a plus three bastard sword. It has uh, its bane against creatures from the negative plane. Mm -hmm. It hastes you, and uh, it can hurt the time demon if you attack it. Um, and it'll have it has like a few other powers, but the thing is, like while you are wielding it, the time demon knows where you are. So there's kind of like a trade-off where this is a very powerful sword and it does some cool stuff, um, but the time demon will sense it and will come for you. It's kind of like, I guess, in the Lord of the Rings thing, whenever you use the, yeah. the ring, the Nazgul go, oh, wait a second. Yeah. You know it. I guess it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like similar that. similar to that. Um, and this thing also has a power where uh, once per day, you can, um, you can cast a spell called Anywhere But Here, which will shift you into another dimension. <laughs> Time, space, plane, whatever. You basically... Use all the power of the of the weapon, and you cut a hole in reality that you can then go. You and your party members can go through. I love this. And, and it, I remember many times as a kid sitting in school. I wish I had a sword that did <laughs> anywhere but here. <laughs> anywhere but here. And I made a little chart that you don't have to use if you're going to run this. But uh, you know, it, by cutting through the, the hole through it, it um, it drains all the power of the sword. So the sword hastes you, but when you cut through when you use it to do this it's it's the sword becomes inert it loses its pluses it loses the bane it loses the haste until uh for 24 hours but like you just use all the power of the sword to cut a hole in reality and you go through it and it brings you somewhere and i made a little chart of 100 different places it can go oh, anywhere from like outer space or the eye of jupiter to like the elemental plane of water like some of them are like like 
not better, right? You go to the <laughs> yeah. elemental plane of fire and you're just burning, right? Some, but it can also take you to like some pretty good places. It can take you to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, other kingdoms and stuff. But ideally, like I'll include my, my list, but it'll, for your adventures, you'll want it to include some of the interesting places from your campaign setting, yeah. wherever that now, is. Now, is there like, anything, Ben, that you can use maybe will or intelligence or charisma or something to, to, to adjust your scores at all? No. Okay, it's just anywhere no. but here. Anywhere but here. Okay. You have like a you have like a five percent like a yeah, I think one through five are places where you will like need magic to bring yourself out of or you'll just basically be dead in like thirty seconds. <laughs> and then there's five that are like the the top five are like awesome places, right? Oh, One's like cool. you just go to the Elysian Fields and you're just in heaven, right? Oh, that's it's awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. You can go there's you know, it's an equal it's fifty fifty, right? 50 is like you go to like earth, you know, normal, normal realm kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And some of them are better. Some of them are worse. It just kind of scales a little bit. One's like a planet being destroyed by a volcano. And one is, one is, you know, whatever's at the end of a bag of holding. <laughs> so Ben, I drew a character, kind of yeah. a, kind of a barbarian S Conan style type yeah. character cutting a hole through time and space. Yes. So this would be what the attack would look like, and also kind of what the cutting through reality might look like. And uh, I had the idea that when you hit a monster with it, it almost like sucks the monster into mm. the blade. Uh, it, it passes through them as though it was nothing, and it just kind of drains their life force. It kind of yeah. looks like it's like pulling them into the blade a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I like and that idea. I had the idea that when you kill a creature with the warper blade, um, you can decide at the moment of killing it, what you want to do with the creature. So you can absorb its power into the blade. And I had the idea that it just, the creature gets sucked into the blade and then it just looks like a shooting star on that star field in the mm. blade. Love it. And that's just, that's just it. It's you've absorbed it into, He's the, gone. into the blade. <laughs> yeah. uh, or you can um, use the power of it to teleport it anywhere but here. <laughs> Where it will arrive somewhere random and spawn with one hit point. Love it. Which would be... That's fun. In a pinch, a way of, like, sending your buddy somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> he was about to die. Yes. You'll have one hit point, or if you're unconscious, you're unconscious. But, like, you'll spawn with one hit point somewhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I lo this is great. This is great stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so the blade is very powerful, but like we said, it, it, it calls to the time demon. Mm -hmm. Um and hopefully you'll uh, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with this. Let me tell you. <laughs> and Dungeon Masters, you may be ripping your hair out a little bit because there's a lot of stuff to take care of and, and look after. But um, the creativity that you have is um, almost unlimited. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you and can like, kind of do anything you want with it. So. Exactly. So like, you don't have to. I made a chart, but like, you don't have to do that. You could have whatever. Whenever they, you can have it in your head that like, whenever they use anywhere but here, you already know where they're going to go. You already have that mm -hmm. dungeon planned, so that you can roll a d hundred and be like, oh well, you end up here because they don't know the difference, right? They're not exactly. looking at your what you're looking at. So you can set up one little dungeon. Uh, the way I did it was that I had, um, I have an encounter. The only thing I have for this is, like, I have one battle. So basically when they go through the anywhere but here, they teleport somewhere, and there's monsters waiting for them, and they fight them. And it's very generic. I just have um, my party that's going through this is level 6 right now. I have uh, a, a encounter that is scaled with, like, a couple of level 6 fighters. So they teleport through. There's a couple other fighters there to fight. And depending on what they get, I just skin those dudes as whatever I want. Right? Yeah. If they're fire elementals, if they go to the fire plane, they are, you know, earth elementals, if they go to the earth, if they go to heaven, they're, they're you know, renegade angels, right? They're yeah. whatever. You just can make them look like whatever they need to look like for mm -hmm. this realm. But in the end, by the bones, they're just level five fighters. Yeah, it's all the same creature, basically. Yeah. 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 And then that encounter will buy you a little time to figure out what you want to do with this realm that they went to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. That's all you need is like, like a little map. An encounter and a uh, and a yeah. A so it it it's it, it seems complicated, but you can boil it down into simple things. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, and then you can do anything you want with it. And yep. we think you're going to have a lot of fun playing with it. Yeah, exactly. You need a one room dungeon and some monsters yeah. in it, and you can make that that can be the moon of Titan, or that can be you know. <laughs> 
Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Yeah, it could be Atlantis, right? That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> can teleport to them. They could be merfolk, right? Yeah. Merfolk warriors. Doesn't matter. Sea monkeys too. Sea monkeys. Yeah. Yep. And the sea monkeys. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we drilled this one into the ground. Sounds <laughs> good to right. me. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. We're gonna see you next time. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, bye.